Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So we're going over to, to Burslem in Stoke, although I actually bought this from Matlock Bod, uh, as I found out the other day. So thank you to the people from Matt, from Titanic Brewery who actually responded to my, what the hell is a bod? And the first Titanic bod was actually over in Bodmin. So, yeah, <laughs> just goes to show you, doesn't it? You know, it's as simple as that. So the bod pubs are a cafe cum uh, pub. So that means they can open for the full duration of the day. Good for the staff that work there, uh, especially the staff that like more the cafe experience. And then in the, in the evening, more the booze experience. Um, but anyway, Titanic Plum Porter. So Titanic Plum Porter, uh, available on cask. One bloody fantastic beer on cask. Literally had it two days ago on cast. Did not post that I actually had it, but don't always post every beer I post for today. Uh, <clears throat> and of course, somebody ribbed me. You drink a bit, don't you? Yeah, yeah I do, mate. Yeah, I do beer reviews, mate. And uh, I work hard. And uh, But anyway, so we've got Titanic Plum Porter. This is actually the what we call the lowest ABV form of Titanic Plum, Titanic Plum Porter. So this is a 4.9% version. It's been that for a long time. Whether it was any higher at some stage, I don't know. There are another few versions. There is, I'm sure, I think there is a, a version in can, Plum Porter. Uh, vaguely think that. There certainly is the Grand Reserve Plum Porter. Now that comes in a big bottle. The big bottle is a port infused plum porter. It is a premium price that you pay. It is a good price. You know, uh, I assume either Titanic are very good at their marketing and, uh, you know, making good money. And fair play to them on that. If people buy it, why not? Or it costs that much to make. And I've actually made my own port infused plum porter using St. Peter's, which is another good brand, obviously, as we know. Um, equally as good as Titanic, you know, two amazing world, you know, UK legends of beer. Um, so you've got the Port Infused Plum Porter, but then you've also got the Grand Reserve Port Plum Porter that comes in the smaller 330ml bottles. So you've got, like, two versions of the great that, and then you've got this, and I'm sure they've done one in can. Obviously, you've got a cask version as well. So, yeah, let's crack it open because we're literally three minutes in. Yeah. And uh, so this is available in supermarkets across the UK. It is an absolutely amazing beer. Um, if Titanic ever went into uh, beer kits, which I reckon they bloody should do, uh, that would be stunning. So here we go. Uh, good friends over at the Byron's Rest in Hucknall seem to have this bad boy on all the time. And I assume that there is the Titanic wording. Why it's not showing up. So yeah, Plum Porter 4.9%. On the back, the writing. So what I like about Titanic is the sea smell taste. This is the 2024 review of this. So, uh, first brewed in 2011 as uh, something seasonal, a one-off seasonal. A multi-awarding plum porter has gone on, to, gone on to become a genre-defining specialty beer, followed by drinkers both at home and in the pub. Absolutely. It is one of the best fruity beers in the UK. Like I say, this St. Peter's Plum Porter, Elgood's Plum Porter, Badger's um, Cranbourne Poacher, which used to be called Poacher's Choice. Um, the plum on the aroma, I can smell it from here. It's absolutely bloody amazing. So, what I do like also about Tam Titanic Brewery, they do sea smell taste. Very important. Why? Because for the beer, beer person who's coming into the world of beer, they'll read the back and they'll think, okay, well, I can see that it's a deep red, deep red, nigh on black, deep red. 
the smell of sweet fruit and vanilla. Wow. So you can get the plumminess from here. But it's great to train your senses to be, try and get that vanilla as well. The taste is balanced, it's plump and fruity. The bitterness is one and a half out of five. Sweetness of three and a half out of five. And obviously brewed in Burslem, Stoke-on-Trent and titanicbrewery.co.uk for this. So here we go. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. It is, a, I really do, I've loved the Titanic Brewery, but beers for as long as I've done beer reviews and well before I did beer reviews, to be fair. Um, you only need to go back in all my older beer reviews to know this, but uh, here we go. So a lovely plummy nose on this. We have a, like a, a sweetish plummy nose. I'll be honest, I'm trying to pick out that vanilla. It said on the aroma, didn't it? Can't see the bloody lighting from here. Um, yeah, sweet fruit vanilla. Sweet fruit is definitely at the forefront. There is a... I would call it a note of vanilla, certainly not a, a lot of vanilla. Oh. Seven minutes in. And I actually been out for a drink today, not much. I had literally two pints because I was driving over about six hours, so um, <clears throat> with food. So. Um, Making sure I didn't was not anywhere near any limits or anything like that. You know, got to be sensible. Um, and I can't afford not to have my license. A little bit of licorice just came in then as well. So just a, a touch of licorice on the back end there. Like I say, plum porter. You'll find this in literally, I think, all the all the UK supermarkets. Certainly the big four. Um, I know Sainsbury's definitely has it. Morrison's, I'm sure, definitely has it. Um, Tesco's? I'm not 100% sure about Tesco's. So, 2024 review. It's tasting absolutely sublime. Like I say, if you like a bit of dark fruit, I, aka plum, if you're, if you're a fan of red wines, you like a plummy note in your red wines, but you want to try a beer, this is the one to try. If you're a bit a lover of fruit beers, Again, um, this is certainly one to try. This is more of a sweet plum. The St. Peter's version, they are both amazing breweries. They really are. The St. Peter's version is more of an earthy plum. I've not literally had the Elgood's version. I have, however, had the Eam Brewery, their Imperial Plum. And again, that was diff slightly different again. And, uh, you know, 
plum porters are stunning. Um, I've brewed my own plum porters from kit. Never, not without kit, obviously. Um, I know Bolton Wonderer, good friend of Raggy's Beer Review Channel, actually donated a, a mini keg of Imperial Plum Porter for Raggy's um, Beer Festival over at my wedding last year. And that was an 11% Plum Porter um, brewed from all grain. And it was bloody stunning as well. So, you know, um, Plum Porters, I think they've got their own genre. You know, and, and, and Titanic, you know, uh, and the likes of St. Peter's are, are totally responsible for that. I, I personally think they came before the, anybody else. And, um, you know, um, what's his name? Harrison's Brewery up in Retford. Again, another good brewery that do a plum porter. Not sure what's happening with that brewery. Not seen or heard anything for a while. Um, I need to go on Google and see if, they, if it's still open and still going. Um, but yeah. down the shed sometimes you hear some strange noises and I don't know what that was a second ago <clears throat> I'm literally surrounded by houses because we don't live on a posh place you know well, it's not a bad area but it's certainly not um, you know posh um, and uh, so I'm about literally from my house 30 yards away from the house that way yeah, I'd say 30 yards. Decking's 12 feet, so 4 metres. Maybe not even 30 yards then. Although I would think 30 yards. If I was to pace it, it'd be 30 yards front to back. And again, from that way and that way, you know, round about the same on all angles. Everyone's got about the same size garden. Although ours is quite a decent size, to be fair. Which is good, because I'm being a gardener. You'd want a decent size garden. So... In 2024 this is the same bottle that you'd find in supermarkets there's no difference between what they put in um, their own pubs in supermarkets it's all made the same and um, yeah Titanic Brewery is absolutely smashing it for me uh, Plum Porter if you love a bit of a fruity beer absolutely down your street no artificial taste whatsoever they're not, um, you know, like some breweries out there who've, who've kind of downgraded their beer. There's none of that. And thank God for that, you know. Um, as times get harder for all of us, and, and certainly this crazy, stupid, bloody world we're in at the moment, um, as times get harder, the fact that the beer may get pricier but the beer is the same beer, and it's critical. You know, I see breweries, I see some good breweries ruining their beer to become to stay in supermarkets and to sell volume. And it's all right selling volume, but if your beer is rubbish, then you're killing your beer. And you know, there are certain brands out there who've destroyed their brands. You know, we can think of one Danish. Uh, owned brewery that has absolutely destroyed their own brand and bringing new versions out using weakening the, the brand name and and yet titanic you know same true and uh, i think that's critical um as far as i know titanic are a family owned brewery as far as i know i don't know 100 to be honest but um yeah a brewery that i absolutely love uh, been to Burslem, been to the brewery shop, didn't go in the brewery obviously. Back in them days nobody's heard of Aggies Bear Reviews. Even these days no one's heard of Aggies Bear Reviews. But um, you know, it was good to, good to good to go to the brewery shop. It's changed since I last went. 
I went in between going from Alton Towers to Drayton Manor uh, on, a, on a theme park weekend. And we popped into the brewery after leaving Alton Towers, got to the brewery. It's like, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Them days I didn't do YouTube shorts. Shut on bloody YouTube shorts. And uh, got all the beers I wanted. I had a fantastic beer haul. Picked some out the bargain bucket by the door. Watch out for glass. Um, hopefully, this, hopefully they wash them a bit better these days. But yeah, cracking place. Um, would I drink this again? Absolutely, yes. And if you're a fan of plummy beers, get yourself this. Get yourself Badger's Poacher's Choice. Get yourself St. Peter's Plum Porter. All three are available nationally. And all three are absolutely some of the best modern traditional breweries in the UK. I know they might call themselves craft breweries. But there's a new, a new generation of craft. You can be craft. 15 years ago but today different generation but still fantastic breweries all day long would I drink this again when I go to a pub I look at what's on the bar Titanic Plum Porter's on the bar you know you know where Raggy's Beer Reviews is going that thank you for watching see you soon